Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer beta is out and PlayStation players get the first look at this year's Call of Duty. Xbox and PC players will have to wait until next weekend. Now keep in mind this game is cross-play so you can play against players from all platforms PS4, Xbox One, PC, PS5, Series X, everyone just gets bunched up together. With my first look at this game on both PS4 and PS5 I noticed quite a few differences. In fact the differences are large large enough that it might be time for you to upgrade. Otherwise, you might have a competitive disadvantage against other players during crossplay. Of course, the visuals, graphics, and performance is the biggest difference here, but there are others. First, on PS5, you get the better haptics, better vibration. There is the adaptive triggers. They do work on this game. Make sure the trigger haptics are fully enabled in the menu. Pressing the trigger button just feels a lot more engaging and satisfying on the PS5. The PS5 controller is also better overall. The form factor, the grip, it does give you an edge. Now both PS4 and PS5 do also have mouse and keyboard controls. Be sure to change the aiming input device to mouse. I love it when first person shooters just offer mouse and keyboard support natively on console. It's nice to just have that option available. PlayStation 5 players also have the 120 hertz refresh rate mode while ps4 only goes up to 60 fps more on that later but first let's check out the graphics and visuals to me there seems to be a huge difference in the visuals and the graphics here the ps4 seems to struggle a bit with this game i mean the objects the textures they pop in it's really bad this floor this whole area right here is missing and it took like 20 seconds for those textures just to pop in overall the game looks like a ps3 game well maybe not that bad but i'm just trying to make a point here. In fact, this might be bad enough that maybe it's going to be the last Call of Duty we see on PS4, but let's see what happens next year. After playing the PS5 version, the PS4 version just looked ugly. I mean, the resolution here must be around 900p, while the PS5 version is running at around 1440p to 1800p. In terms of performance, the PS4 version does target 60fps. Now, during the Mosh Pit playlist, the PS4 does do a decent job of holding holding that 60 fps during the standard playlist you can expect a little bit of screen tearing and some drops into the 50s i mean overall it's not too bad and the mosh pit playlists are still playable where things get really ugly are during the ground war playlist the texture pop-in that I mentioned earlier, this is in fact during that ground war playlist. And the performance here also suffers. There's lots and lots of screen tearing. There's graphic bugs, the FPS drops a lot. PS4 can't hold a solid 60 FPS at all. Expect averages of around 54 FPS and even drops into the 40s at times. Yeah, flying this helicopter isn't the best idea on a PS4. The PlayStation 5 performance is a lot better. During those mosh pit playlists, the game holds a solid 60 FPS. There's virtually no drops at all. The only time I saw my counter kind of dip a bit was just a single frame when I respawn. I also tested the ground war playlist and even during that, the PS5 holds a solid 60 FPS without any drops. Now during one of the matches for ground war, I did notice some other server side issues. The other player movements were kind of stuttering and choppy. Keep in mind this is a beta test after all and that should hopefully be fixed for the final release. And you're all probably wondering about that PS5 120 hertz mode. Yes, there is a 120 FPS mode that works with the PS5 on Modern Warfare 3. It also does perform decent. I mean, sure, the resolution will go down, but the frame rate doubles. Well, not exactly double because it's not a solid 120 FPS, but it's pretty close. You can expect the frame rate to hover between 105 to 115 fps and the average is around 110 i would say the frame rate never really locks itself and sort of just jumps between that range now you do need a 120 hertz monitor to play this high refresh rate mode on the ps5 and you do have to have it properly set up in the ps5 settings for it to work there is an option in the game settings that will appear something like this if you set 
set it up correctly. Overall, Modern Warfare 3 is significantly better on PlayStation 5. If you're gonna be playing this game a lot, it's time for an upgrade. The controls are better and more immersive. The graphics and visuals look way better. There's less graphic bugs and issues. The performance is way better, including that 120 hertz mode. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you with some more gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 on both PS4 and PS5 with the FPS counter up. This should be a big enough sample size for you to help you make your decision to upgrade or not. What's your button? 